One of the most important parts of a regular gynecological exam is the Papanicolaou test, or pap smear. The pap smear detects changes in cells from the surface of the cervix, the narrow lower end of the uterus, which opens into the vagina. It is a screening test which allows early detection of a number of abnormalities of the cervix, including cervical cancer. Precancerous changes of the cervix also can be detected early with a pap smear and treated before they can develop into cancer. To make the test as accurate as possible, it's best not to douche for 24 hours before the exam. First, an instrument called a speculum is used to separate the walls of the vagina. This allows a direct view of the donut-shaped cervix. A spatula is used to scrape cells from the surface of the cervix. Some cells are also removed from the opening. Frequently, a cotton swab, brush, or a small sucking tube will also be used to sample cells. These cells are smeared onto a glass slide and sent to the laboratory for analysis. A physician specializing in cell pathology reviews the results and generates a report based on the appearance of the cells under the microscope. Several classification systems have been used to report pap smear results. Whichever system is used, the results mean basically one of three things. First, the pap smear may be normal. In this case, it should simply be repeated as part of your next routine pelvic exam. Second, the pap smear may show abnormalities, suggesting that an infection is present. In this case, the infection is treated with medications, and then the pap smear is repeated, usually in about three months. Finally, the pap smear may show abnormal appearing cells, which cannot be explained by infection. Cells with a mildly abnormal appearance may indicate that precancerous changes are present, changes that require treatment to prevent development of cancer in the future. Cells with a more abnormal appearance indicate that further evaluation is needed to determine if cancer is present, and if so, how extensive it is. This is usually done with a test called colposcopy, in which the cervix is examined using magnification and bright light. Appropriate treatment can then be planned. Like any test, a pap smear is not accurate 100% of the time, but it is generally highly reliable. And because cancer of the cervix can be life-threatening if it goes untreated, it's reassuring to know that regular pap tests are extremely effective at detecting problems at a very early stage when treatment is highly successful.